name is Edward Ma. Right now I'm working as an application developer for a startup company. I have depression. It first kind of manifested during my university, so I think by the end of it, it was really rough because my depression kind of got worse and it was really hard for me to focus on school. I ended up in um, at academic probation and I had to basically drop out. I think first year, you know, I was kind of immature for you know, I wasn't mentally with ready anyways. And by second year, because of it, I kind of everything with the, with the, with the oncoming of depression, it kind of, it kind of jumped in together with like, with not even the focus and then we feeling bad about everything I'm doing. Just kind of everything kind of, almost like a sinkhole, it kind of got bigger and bigger over time. In the house all day, do nothing but playing video games and try to escape from reality. Uh, yeah, I spent, I think, a year doing that. And then one of my friends that I met online, she's like, yeah, you need to see like a, you should see a doctor because whatever's going on is, is pretty bad. Because I was talking to her about like all the things that's going on in my mind. With um, Dr. Waver, it was more, more of a talk and like how, my, how I'm feeling. And then with the, with the medication, kind of, so is the medication helping you? So I think the right poetry when I'm depressed. So that's all the poetry that like, I wrote to, like, so she understand like my mind of thinking. So over, over time, like she kind of talk, and then with the medication, she, she kind of understand the dynamics of it. Even during the school year, like there's one week I was like, I have no motive to do any homework. And then I was like, I said, listen, you gotta pick yourself back up. You gotta, you just gotta force. Sometimes I have to force myself to do it. I, I, I have no motive to do the homework. I'm kind of like, I just want to sit around, watch Netflix, and just play the game, read the games. But at the end of the week, I'm like, no, I have to. You kind of have to also almost, almost force yourself. And you cannot, you, you cannot, I cannot sit in the week. For, Keep doing this because, like, I have a goal that I want to do, and I need to do whatever you know, do what I need to do to get it done, so to speak. So why don't I just reach out and see maybe someone want to talk and then kind of help each other out a little bit? I do more reach out on like social media, kind of talk about like how I'm feeling and and tell people if you if you want someone to talk to, just listen. Like I'm here. The biggest challenge for guys right now just to have that have that like almost like a brotherhood kind of thing. It's okay to talk to each other about whatever sadness. It's not being like, oh, just tough it out, man. You know, be a man. All that macho, macho nonsense. That's that's not, that's that's not really helping anyone. Some people think they open up easier online because there's no, because you're not in person, right? There's no, there's no physical attachment to it, so they can be more open. But at the same time, sometimes for some of this stuff, you have to be in person. I tell you that sometimes, sometimes the physical act of being there is is better than not knowing what to say because just know someone's actually there to care about you enough that just to listen to whatever you say, just no judgment, just be like, yeah, I understand that, like, I, I've i been in a similar situation, and that and that thing tends to help a lot. Just, if you look at your own self, you know, over time, you want to be better than what you had before. It's kind of what I strive for, I always want to be better than who I was yesterday and something like that, and just kind of keep myself pushing forward.